Hey, well done on, on a good win. I, I know you've not been entirely happy with, with your game at the moment, but Jayand is a player who's been sort of flying this week and he was on top in that match. Were you pleased with how you kind of dug deep and turned it around? Uh, I don't know if I dug deep. I just just keep going, didn't you, until the end. Um, whether that come across as digging deep, I don't know. Um, but I just tried to compete, you know, and just tried to make a match of it, to be honest with you. You were saying on TV how you, you feel maybe it's been, in, it, you know, where, the way you feel you've been playing at the moment has been enlightening in terms of how you felt you had more control over matches in previous years. How, how has that, that changed in terms of what, what recently, uh, what, what do you think, what is the difference I between just, those matches I and now? I used, to, I used to come off a match and go, I played terrible there. And um, I've just recently started watching back some of my matches, the games where I thought I played terrible, and actually I watched them and thought it was an unbelievable performance. And now, what some of my matches over the last four or five years, I think, oh, I remember playing all right in that match, and I watch it, and I'm missing like some ridiculous balls. So you kind of have to start looking at the facts rather than sort of going by feeling. Um, I've had to kind of like look at it and kind of go, well, rather than drive myself mad, let's just have a proper look at where my game is at, what, you know. And there's so many unforced errors, so many mistakes now compared to how they used to be. And that's the reason why. You know, um, I'm not as dominant probably, or I don't feel as dominant. I think it's easier to win tournaments now than it ever has been, to be honest with you. Um, I won five last year playing absolute rubbish stuff, you know. So, um, so I think you know, um, it's, it's not because the standards any higher. Um, it's just, it's just, it's what happens. You know, you watch Hendry. You know, Hendry still felt like he was queuing great towards the end of his career, but you watch him, and he made far too many unforced errors and against younger players in their prime, they, they, they'll pounce on that, you know? Obviously you know your game better than anyone to the outside observer, you, and probably is, maybe it's just we people just think about the results and, and you are still mm. winning. Mm. Do, you, do you think, you know, people still think you're still playing amazing, but do you, is, it, is it just that patience? Really? Well, I don't know, to us we, it feels that way, but it, if you had to develop patience to the, the mistakes that you maybe would have got more frustrated with in the past, do you just kind of are you, do you find it easier just to put them to one side I and get them? I don't get me get frustrated. Sometimes I just I, sometimes I just can't wait to get out of the venue. It's that bad. It's that embarrassing. It's that poor. You know, I just feel like you know, it's just it's, it's I feel terrible to be honest with you. You know, but I, I I don't want to sit there and show everyone how I'm feeling. You have to put a lot like, a bit of a professional head on and kind of go right. Listen, I've just got to get a job done and get out of here with that sort of. You know, um, showing my frustrations. You know, but the frustrations are there. You know, it's, it's not a nice place to be when you're putting in poor performance after poor performance. You know, I might be getting over the line, but I'm not. I, I don't get no joy in just getting over the line. I, I like to just muller the balls. I like to, you know, dominate the table and just have that cue ball and a bit of string and just dictating play, you know, and I just don't feel like I've been doing that for quite a while now, you know, I've been winning matches, but it's partly been down to my opponents not playing well and not taking the chances. And what do you think the key is to getting to back to that, that feeling? Oh, I don't think you can, I honestly don't think you can, I looked at Henry, I looked at Davis, I looked at Jimmy, I'm looking at John Higgins, and, you know, they just, we just, you know, I watch them players, and I know what, how they used to play in their prime, and then I watch them towards the end, and they just basically just missing too many balls, making too many mistakes, too many, uh, too much inconsistency. Just, you know, you need to be consistent to, to be a proper winner. I mean, listen, I'm, I might get away with it because I'm a bit like an Alex Higgins or a Jimmy White, and I can have little spurts where I play well. You know, um, whereas more of a manufactured player, if he's not playing well, tends to not be able to find inspiration from potting the odd good ball. You know, um, so I think. I've, I've, I've won and managed to do all right result wise because of that, but it's been very, very poor, very, very, very below average performances for me. You know, still like most players, I'd probably go, oh, I'd love to be able to play like that, but for my, for my level, it's not good. And, it, and if that maybe is an indication where that you maybe don't know how long is left if that, if that carries on, is it a case then of really enjoying and relish or trying to relish what's there even if you're not enjoying how you're playing and relish yeah, competing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I made the decision about four weeks ago. I went, I, I cannot, I was actually scared to go near a practice table. That's how bad it got. I just would, I was refused, I was finding any excuse to not practice. And I thought, what, what are my options? My only option is to play left-handed, so I'm enjoying practicing left-handed. Um, I can't compete with these guys left-handed, but if I can just play a few matches in the game where I kind of go, oh, that felt nice, that felt nice. I've got to have a bit of that felt nice, because if I don't get a bit of that felt nice, I ain't going to play, you know, I just haven't got it in me, you know. I 
just, I just haven't, you know. So I think I've just got to find ways where I can play and just get, you know. And it's not even about winning. Just go, oh, okay, oh, but that, that was all right. You know, I can, I can sleep tonight. You know, I can get up in the morning. And think, oh, God, I don't mind going near a snooker table, you know. Because I love the life. I love being on the road. I love travelling. And, and, and the minute I stop playing snooker, that's all going to stop, really. In terms of that travelling element, I know you've, you're quite involved in terms of you've got an academy opening here in Riyadh mm, and yeah. how much have you enjoyed being here in Riyadh? Yeah, no, I love it. I love being here. I think it's a fantastic place. I uh, love the people. got some really good friends here. Um, it's a great event. Um, you know, look after us really well. So for me, you know, being in Saudi Arabia and China, they're the two, for, for work-wise, that's where I want to be, you know. So, um, yeah, we spend a lot of time here and China. And, uh, yeah, no, it's good. Well, Ronnie, well done on the win and thanks for the honesty in the interview. Okay, thank you. Cheers.